Good morning guys and welcome back to our channel. Good morning. We're currently in Spider-Man car park. As always. We're at Universal but we're going Volcano Bay today. It's going to be nice to have some flip-flops on rather than some I trainers know. today. <laughs> I to have and to chill. It's meant to rain all this day. morning, <laughs> all day. We've only just found that out. So this could be a very short vlog. But if it is, it's all good. We're still going to have fun. I've got the GoPro with me to go around some rides when we can and the lazy river. Laura's not going to get her head wet today. Or well, too wet. You're going to do some rides, aren't I you? Not do many. The, the, yeah. The we messed up our tickets. They went in the wash. Absolutely so our first port of call is to get our tickets <laughs> and then we're going to get the bus over. So normally you get your tickets there before getting on the buses, but it's shut. So we've got to go to the main entrance again. Morning guys. Welcome. Morning. All the way to the back. So we're in. Laura's just putting her tapu tapu on. We'll explain all that in a minute. But that guy was very helpful. I think his name was Eggsy. Eggsy. Great name. He uh, reprinted the tickets. Luckily, the code was still on one of the tickets. Just about. So he managed to find us on the system. So we got very lucky. Don't lose your ticket. Take a picture of it because we never did and he, he did ask for a picture and we would never do that and we would not never normally do that with but universal we oh 100 percent moving forward we're taking pictures of everything but we're walking in we're just about to head around the corner to see the volcano and i'll flip you around oh yes i'm gonna be at the top of that volcano soon for the drop slide Laura, are you doing that one she'll be down the bottom recording it so as you come in the park if you go right as you meet the volcano that takes you around to the kids area and a lot of the slides. If you come around to the left, then this side is a lot quieter. We was up in that cabana, weren't we? Yes, that one. That cabana we had last year, that top left one. And it's so quiet, there's literally no one here. But if you go to the other side, it's pretty crazy. Very yeah, very noisy, very crazy, a lot of kids. But yes, top tip, if you want to chill out, if you don't want much noise, come around to the left where the cabanas are, all this seating outside the cabanas is for just general public. You don't need a cabana to then sit in there. And if you keep walking by this fishtail, you go in here, there's some more cabanas, which the time before last, we had one up there. And again, there's more seating. And this one is also very private. And this one's good because you've got a little pool by it. So if you want to have a little dip, you can. This is where we chose to sit and sunbathe. Lovely and quiet. I know there's a pool there and the rides. But it's peaceful. It's tanning up. <laughs> it's hot today. First ride of the day for me. The drop tower. I'm gonna go up. You're gonna wait here, aren't you? Okay. Good. So much fun. <laughs> Are you gonna do it? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. It's too high. So here's the coaster, Krakatau Aqua Coaster. The way the uh, Tapu Tapu bands work is there's wait time over there. If it says ride now, you can just ride now. But the wait time's 95 minutes at the minute. So we're gonna tap in and it'll come up on our Tapu Tapu and then it buzzes you when you're ready to ride. So we're tapping in for the coaster. 95 minutes and it comes up on your watch and it does a countdown then buzzes you when it's time to go <laughs> I leave my partner in crying <laughs> it's so one person that's good though good no cue as well so I just went on the green one because it's a ride now it didn't um, cancel out my 95 minute wait for the aqua coaster, which is pretty good. I didn't know that. So even if you've tapped in and in a queue for one ride, the virtual queue, if there's ride nows, you can just go on and ride now. Another ride now, the racers. I'm gonna head on up and Laura's gonna be the camera woman. Laura's exhausted from being camera woman this morning. <laughs> so she's gonna sunbathe. I'm gonna switch over to the GoPro and go in the not so lazy river, the rapids. I love it. Let's switch on over 
and I'll meet you in the rapids. You enjoy your turn, Casper. <laughs> As I'm walking around to the rapids, oh no and oh yeah. These are probably my favorite. They're drop slides. So you slide around and there's like a six foot drop and a four foot drop. Six foot drops the purple one, four foot drops the green one. That's currently a 15 minute wait. So once we do the uh, Krakatau coaster, I'm gonna be tapping in for that because I love that ride. So this is the entrance to the rapids. It's called Tiawara, the fearless river. But first you've got to stick on one of these jackets so you can float around. I'm all set, got a green one. Let's head on in. So right here is one of the main chutes. Oh, creates this wave effect. This river's so cool. Goes under a load of slides. Goes in and out the volcano. And literally you can just float. Feet aren't touching the floor. Just float around. So good, my hair is so fluffy as well. As you come round, under Krakatau, the aqua coaster, which is right here. This is going to be your exit. In the summer, I'm pretty sure this is an entrance as well. But this is your exit for today. You've got the aqua coaster either side. This side's the start, that side's the end. Drops with a nice big drop there with the camera. And then you go into the volcano. Inside the volcano, you've got the aqua coaster. You've got the drop, drop slide right at the top, which is the one I did. And then you got two other drop slides that drop you initially and then it's the green and blue ones and then just take you around inside the volcano and then this bit right here just on the left hopefully we're gonna see it this bit creates a bit of a wave and it pushes you around there you go perfect timing oh. <laughs> and here's another fun bit oh, it's like mini waves so right here's the main entrance where we come in you can also exit here nice little water fountain good picture spot especially with the rides in the background this is like the calm before the storm <laughs> Fearless River, just been tanning for a bit. Back with Laura. Go on, remove the hat. Look what she's got on. She's got bags from the shop. <laughs> to stop her hair getting wet, basically, she went and asked for like a shower cap thing, see if they sold anything like that. But they suggested using the bag. So we've just been buzzed for the uh, Aqua Coaster. She's gonna wear that hat round so we don't look silly and then whip it off last minute. How's your tanning been while I've been away? Very nice. And I even got a little collectible drink. Okay, so what did you get? A Malibu pineapple. And that's like a collectible mug or glass that you can keep. And if you go back, you get $5 off your drink. Oh. So it's quite good. It is good. <laughs> Sounds hot, right? It's hot. <laughs> we can't take our phone, so we'll report back after. Coaster's done, the bags are off. The hair is dry. It stayed dry, I can't believe it. That's I'm going to invent that to sell. It's such a good idea. <laughs> So what did you think of the coaster? I love it. It's really good. It's weird having a coaster as a ride in but a water park. It's so good. It is. It, sh it seemed to me that it shot you up quicker than we went down. Maybe that's because there was only two of us in the boat rather yeah, than probably. four. So the weight going up was a lot lighter. Whereas it if so it was heavier, we would have gone quicker down. But we loved it. Also, when we got to the ride. It was a 240 minute wait. Which means, unless you want to be here all day, tap in early. That's what we recommend, early right? Does. So now Laura's going to head back to sunbathe and be camera woman. I'm gonna go on Oh No and Oh Yeah because Oh Yeah, oh, yeah. that's the four foot one, is a ride now, so I'm gonna ride that now. And I'm gonna tap into Oh No, which is a 15 minute wait, which is the six foot drop one. 
Um, so hopefully, by the time I've been on Oh Yeah, you can go on Oh No. Oh No will be ready for me to ride. Oh Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. On the left, you got Oh Yeah, which is the four foot drop. And on the right, you got Oh No, which is the six foot drop, the purple one. Oh Yeah is ride now, which I'm going to do now. And Oh No, 15 minute wait. Here he comes. Such a big kid. Again, again, again. Again, again. I love slides. <laughs> so Danny's going to the Fearless River which is here. He's gonna get his little life jacket. Safety first. And while he does the Fearless River, <laughs> I, oh, he's going. While he does that, I am gonna go into here and get a cocktail because the sun is out and it is the last full day of the holiday. That is my drink being made. I have gone for the toasted coconut pineapple drink. Dan! 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 So he can't hear me, but at least I got a little bit of video. Right guys, we are done for the day. I'm feeling the heat, I don't know about you. Yeah, it's very hot today. And we want some lunch. The park's getting very busy now. This morning it was really quiet. Yeah, it's good thing to come early. Yeah, definitely, come for opening if you can. If you come midday onwards, you're gonna be waiting like for the uh, aqua coaster for 220 minutes. You're gonna be here all day Three, basically. So we recommend getting here first thing in the morning, get everything done, and then you can get out before the crowds arrive. And do what you want. Before we go though, we are gonna walk around the park to show you what we haven't done get some TikToks, get some pictures, and then we'll be out of it. This park is well signposted. You can't get lost. It shows you where all the rides are. Here's two family rides that I didn't get to do because I was on my own today. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Laura was too busy sunbathing. And I didn't fancy going with another party. But these two, they are pretty good. They're not the best family rides here. They are a bit slower than the others that we're going to get around to. But yeah, you haven't got to take any tubes up, as you can probably tell. You can just walk straight to the top. The tubes arrive at the top. They pull them across for you and then you jump in. So there are these electronic boards set up around the park. They tell you the ride times. As you can tell, it flicks through. There's certain ones that are right now. It tells you how long the waits are. It tells you the time of day, what time the park shuts. All pretty cool. There's about three or four around the park. So I went into the Fearless River at the right time. I managed to go in twice today. Once this morning and once when Laura's getting a drink. They seem to have shut it. That guy's trying to find something. Here's Krakatoa, the aqua coaster. We just saw on this board over here that Laura's at, that it's now full. The time's about quarter past three in the afternoon. It shuts at six o'clock. So if you do want to get on the coaster, make sure you come early. Otherwise there's a chance that you might not get on it. So here's the lazy river. It's a lot more chilled than the one I went in earlier. You don't have to get in the rubber rings that are provided, but I'd recommend to, because it is a lot more chilled. So here's the kids area we was on about this morning. Obviously, I'm not going to go in there and film, but that's where it's located, over by the Lazy River. Here are the other two family rides. In my opinion, these two are far better than the other two we saw earlier. Same sort of system, the tubes go up, so you don't have to carry nothing. Then once you get to the top, they put the tube in place, you jump in, and then you come. If you are going to do a family ride here at Volcano Bay and only have time for one, I recommend doing the blue one. That is the most craziest, that is the most fun, and all in all, it is the best experience. This is one of four restroom and locker areas. There's one in each village dotted around the park. Lockers are an additional cost, so bear that in mind. There's also showers in the restrooms, which come in handy at the end of the day. And finally, the wave pool. The waves are going right now. There's music that triggers it to let people know that it's coming. 
I'm gonna say it comes every 15 minutes to half hour. I'm not 100% sure. But the views are just amazing from here. I was up there this morning. Seems like forever ago. But yeah, class wave pool. It's not too deep. I can see in the distance it's four foot the deepest. Four foot two inches. So most people can get in there right at the deep end. Also in front of the wave pool, as you go out, there's so much seating. This is the most popular area for obvious reasons for the views and it's best for the kids. But yeah, awesome day. We're on our way out guys. We're going. Last theme park or water park of the holiday, our last full day. I'm gutted that it could be another year until we're back. Maybe try to squeeze one in, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Well, I've had a great day. Laura's treated today as more of a chill day. Yes, it was my sunbathing day. You did do the aqua coaster though, which was a lot of fun. I did. Uh, I enjoyed every ride I went on. Obviously, I couldn't do the family rides. The blue one is by far the best. That's the one I'd recommend. But I've had a great day. You've had a great day. It's been good. We're now heading back. We've got dinner with her friends, her American friends later. Yeah. And then we fly home tomorrow. So if you did like the vlog from today, guys, then please drop a like. If you've got any questions from today, then please give us a comment. Give a comment. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.